All right, hey YouTube, I got a new video for today. Today I'm going to show you how to put pretty much any um, or any GSM smartphone on Net 10. So you can get, you'll still be using, uh, what is it? You'll still be using like whatever service provider you picked um, between AT&T or T-Mobile, but you will be paying significantly less per month. So this is the one I started out with. This is an LG uh, phone. It was... It was about $60 and it was running on the Sprint network. And uh, during the speed test, the highest I got was 919 kilobits per second for a download. And up speed, I got 898. You can't really see it because the screen's stupid. Anyway, so when trans and I transferred my service to this AT&T phone, it's the, uh, S the yeah, Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. I was able to get 666 download and 138 upload on this time, and that's kilobytes, so that's actually a lot faster. Here, I'll show you the actual results to compare to the same. Um, hold on, I gotta put these back both in the same format. One second. Tools, kilobytes. Okay, so to compare them, when this had 919 kilobits per second. This one had 5,346 kilobits per second download speed. And for upload, it was 1,074. My old phone had 800. I mean, yeah, had uh, 898. So both phones were on the same server. I was paying the same amount per month, but I figured if I'm going to be paying $45 a month, which is what it is if you have the um, monthly auto renew thing then I might as well be getting a better phone. I did not know it was going to be significantly faster since this phone does not support 3D and this does. Anyway, so you're probably wondering what kind of phones are supported. Well, this is a AT&T phone. It's on the original firmware and it has not been unlocked or rooted. It's a stock phone. So if you have an AT&T or T-Mobile phone, most likely it will be able to work without any modifications whatsoever. Um, the, you can use it on an iPhone too, but your iPhone will have to be jailbroken can you need to change the APN settings. So, there is a way to actually see if your phone is compatible, and I'll show you that in a second. First thing I want to show you is how to actually get your SIM card. Okay, so this is the website, net10sim.com. You'll be able to order your SIM card from here, and all you got to do is just click Buy SIM Now. And let's see if it tells you here. Okay, it doesn't show you the thing I'm going to talk about next, but okay, click buy SIM now again. Okay, so here's what you're looking for. If you have a GSM phone that's not AT&T or T-Mobile, it must operate between uh, 850 and 19 and yeah, 1900 megahertz. So if you want to check your phone's um, operating frequency, just go to gsmarena.com and type in the name of the phone. Mine is the Skyrocket. And here it is, a non-HD version. Alright, and here we see under 2G networks we have GSM 850 and we have 3G. We have 1900 and that's all we need to know. That means it will work. Where was it? Sorry about that. Alright, well, if you have an AT&T phone, you can click here. T-Mobile, you can click here. Uh, where you have an AT&T phone, this is for unlocked if you have neither one. Uh, AT&T, 21161. I don't even know what zip code that's for, but I'm using it. It's not mine, so don't try to figure out where I live. Alright, and it says to activate your phone, blah, 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 blah. It's just telling you that... Um, in order to use the internet, you'll have to update the APN settings. I will show you how to do that. So you won't have anything to worry about. That was a little bit confusing to figure out, especially for the specific phone model. All right, here are the two SIM card options. You have your micro SIM card, and you have your uh, full-size SIM card. If you go back to this page, it will also tell you what kind of SIM card it has. If you look down here under SIM, it will say mini, mini SIM. Mini SIM is actually a standard size SIM card. If it said micro anywhere up there, then you know you need a micro. I'll see if I can look up the iPhone for you. I know that's a micro. Let's go for the iPhone 5. Alright. Okay, this actually says nano SIM here, but that's the same thing as micro. So, nano SIM means you need this one. 
Alright, it says $9.99 here, but the entire price of the thing, including shipping, even though it's supposed to be free, I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, it will be $15. So you select the SIM you want. Let's say we have we don't have an iPhone. We just have a standard phone, because most of them have that. If you want, you can purchase a service card with it, so you can actually get yourself started out. So, um, if you say, I just want the card, that's $9.99. If you say, I want the card and my first month, so I don't have to worry about typing all that stuff in online and my credit card information just yet because you can actually run your entire service just buying these cards at the store you don't have to actually give out your credit card for information ever if you don't want to so we'll just say we're going to do this we're going to go with this just because you want to give out your credit card information alright it's loading up and here we go fifty nine dollars for the first month of the entire first month of service and the sim card after the first month, you'll be able to sign up for a monthly plan where you can get it for just $45 a month. Uh, I'll show you that later on in the video. Okay, you just enter your... We don't have any coupon codes. I don't know of any that exist. So just, you can just proceed to checkout and give them your shipping information, and it'll ship it to you within a couple days, I believe. I think it's like three days. Three days ground shipping, something like that. Alright, here it comes. There we go. Shipping method. There's no free shipping methods for some reason. It said free shipping, but they're not giving us the option. All right, so you'd have to get out your credit card information in order to get a SIM card. You might be able to get it at stores. I think I heard someone say you can get them at Best Buy. But other than that, this is the only time you'll actually have to give it out. Uh, I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't think they accept PayPal. Nope. So, okay, just fill this out, and it'll be shipped to your house. And once you get it, uh, I'll show you how to get your SIM card set up in your phone. Okay, so now that you've ordered your SIM card and checked out to make sure your phone is compatible, of course you'll need your phone. I'm going to go ahead and power mine down so I can show you the process of putting the SIM card in just in case you don't know how to insert a SIM card. So basically you can buy any used AT&T or T-Mobile phone. If it's some other service, you have to get it unlocked. And it has to be SIM compatible, so it, so it has to be a phone that accepts SIM cards. So when you order... Your student card kit for fifteen dollars, which seems like a lot, but just think of it as an activation fee. You'll get this little thing and a whole lot of wrapping around it. Anyway, so you open this up, and your student card will be in here. You have to like push it out and make sure none of these pegs get stuck on. If it can, you can just pull them off. Um, yeah, your SIM card will be right here, and you'll see receive two other papers in here. This thing, not very important. It basically just says, um, don't. Uh, tether your device and will keep your service active. I have been using Net10's unlimited data plan for a while and I have had no problems whatsoever. I mean I had some problems uh, when I transferred my phone number over at first but other than that I had no problems. I've used up I think at most is 7 gigabytes in a month and I did not get capped so it was just 3G so it was just slow in general. Alright this is a Spanish side, but I want to show you my serial number. You have a sticky here of your serial number. You'll need that when you're activating it which we'll get to in a second. And on here, this is your access point settings. Yours may be a little bit different if you're coming from a T-Mobile phone, but they should generally be sim. I'll show you how to set them up any, regardless. All right, so now I'm going to cut to a scene of me showing you how to activate your phone, or the basics of how to get there on the website. All right, if you just typed in Net10 and it took you to this page, this is a newer, fancier page. Uh, you can just click Current Customer go back to the old page. It's a lot easier to navigate, in my opinion. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to enroll in a monthly pan, so you just click there. And we wait for this to load. Alright, now the page is up. Uh, this is where you'd have to enter in your information, like you have your 10 digit phone number and your airtime pay. This is when we're enrolling if you already had it activated, because if you are transferring service from another Net10 phone, whether it be an unlimited phone, smartphone, or normal phone, you will have to re-enroll in the Net10 um, in, in the monthly plan. So here's what you do if you're just activating it for the first time. Okay, if you activate it for the first time, you can go from here, since they just have an easy button, and it'll take you to the activate page. And then you can click if you want to transfer uh, existing Net10 phone or activate my Net10 service from another company. Basically if you have AT&T now and you wanted to transfer from AT&T to Net10 to save yourself a bunch of money, you can go ahead and do that with that option. It will take a while probably, like maybe even up to, I think I said 48 
uh, hours and that's for business days so it's two business days this is the default activate option just click it you need to have an account I'll just say I already have an account click there you can sign in and then here is where you will enter in the serial number that was on your card go back to your red activation card and you should see a little <coughs> a little number that says substitute serial number. Enter that there and you'll be able to continue on and then the only option you'll get is the unlimited plan is the unlimited plan. You won't be able to choose a minute plans as I said before. So alright, and once you have that set up, you should be able to set up it for the monthly plan. It should only be forty five dollars. It might be fifty for the first time. I don't quite remember since I'm already my phone's already been activated, but if you re sign up in the uh, monthly plan thing I showed you before, you will be able to get it for forty five dollars a month. But again, it might be 50 for the first time. All right. Once you have that ready, uh, as soon as your phone is active, you'll be able to make calls. All right. Now that you have your phone and your activated SIM card, let's get into uh, how to actually get the your phone set up with the SIM card. Your SIM card is activated, but your phone is not. So hold on. I got my phone out of this case. One second. All right, you gotta pop the back off your phone first. Usually, there's a little crevice around the side somewhere where you can actually get it open. Hold on, turn the camcorder thing around. The dogs are barking. On the Samsung Galaxy S2, it's up here. So just pry that open with your fingernail. If you can, I'm having a hard time. Can't really have any fingernails. All right. Once the back's off your phone, if there's a SIM card in there, you'll need to take that out. Make sure the phone's off first. All right. Now you get the SIM card from your package, and you have to. Put, and once you get the SIM card out of your package, just simply slide it in. Make sure it matches up. There'll be a little notch up there, a notch missing. You slide it in like that. Once your SIM card's in, the first part's complete. So just go ahead and close the back of your phone and start it up. Okay, I'm taking a while to start up. Sorry about the blurriness of using a tripod at least this time. I know some people have complained about that. When your phone first starts up, you may receive a few odd messages about like service. Or if, if you get a picture of a SIM card with an exclamation point in the top, that means your SIM card was inserted wrong or you have the wrong type. But as long as you order AT&T or T-Mobile or Unlocked, depending on what kind of phone you have, as you see this is AT&T, then you should be good to go. Okay, it will be booted up. If you were completely active, it would say home here, but you, you're not. One second. Okay, <clears throat> so what your phone might say up there is uh, SIM not provisioned MM number two. That just means that your cell phone, that your, your thing is not active. That would mean that your SIM card has not been activated yet, and it's still pe or it's pending the transfer. Um, when you're transferring your, if you're tra if you're just activating this phone and you've never had a Net 10 phone before, and you're not transferring a phone number, it should go significantly fast, like maybe an hour. If you are transferring a phone number from another Net 10 phone, and you upgrade it to this. Uh, it may take a little bit longer. And it may not. Mine took about two hours to complete the transfer. I was transferring from another Net10 phone, as I showed you. I don't know, remember where I put it. And when using this, you will have to use the unlimited plan. You can't use the minutes or anything. You have to use the uh, $45 unlimited plan or the international one. <coughs> okay. Here's my phone. Um, I'm now going to show you how to actually set the data. Once your card is activated, you take a look at your other phone, which I can't find. Okay, well, let's pretend this is my other phone. Okay, we'll take a look at your phone, and you'll get up. And once you are no longer able to make calls with this phone, that means that your phone has been transferred. If you can still make calls on this, that means it's still pending. You can check your your status online. <laughs> when it's completely done, um, you will have bars up here in the corner, and you'll actually be able to make a call. So you'll be able to press call, and you'll be able to dial a number, and it'll actually go through. That will be the first step. The second step is setting up data. As you can see here, I actually have 4G running. You probably can't see because this camera's not focusing. But to actually get your data active, you'll have to set up specifically for your for your uh, service provider on the card I showed you before. So here we go. Press the. You have to go into the settings menu. Depending on what launcher you have, it might be different. 
it's usually a menu and you can press settings and then from there you go to wireless networks and then from there you scroll down to the bottom and look for mobile networks oh, okay real quick this is the setup for the gingerbread operating system on an android phone it may be a little bit different if you're using a different phone um, or a different operating system contact your provider if you're using ice cream sandwich I'll have another clip for you guys up later but uh, until then I always have to deal with this it should be pretty similar alright um, go down to access point names and tap on that and then you should have one that says AT&T or one that says um, T-Mobile if you're on T-Mobile press the menu key and click add new APN alright the name is not important I don't believe but I'd say it's to still have as net 10 I'm not going to because I already have something as net 10 um, sorry about the not being able to read this but you'll, you'll still be able to see the titles okay according to the card the next thing we need after we set our name is net 10 the next thing we have to set is the APN so you go down, so you press OK, look for APN, tap that, and fill that in with, on here it says att.mvno. So we type att.m, sorry, was that M? Yeah, M-V-N-O. <coughs> press OK, now you fill in the next thing, it's proxy server is, I'll have all these come up on the screen proxy.mvo.trackphone.com and then port okay proxy is right under APN and then ports under proxy next thing we need is MMSC MMSC is under server get this thing to focus come on okay there we go MSC and then we have next thing is MMS proxy that's for sending multiple media messages so scroll down a little bit more and you should see MMS proxy and MMS port. Fill them in as they are on your card. I'll have links in the bottom and stuff. On the website it might tell you to set it up a little bit differently, but that website didn't work for me. So I say go with the card. Alright, once you have that set up, um, the best thing to do is just reset your phone. It might come up uh, with 4G, but I'd say just restart your phone. It's safer that way. Alright, then after you reset your phone, uh, you can just put the power button for that. Um, after you completely restart your phone, for y'all, just turn off the screen. Uh, open your favorite web browser and see if you can get data. It should be flashing 4G up here if your phone is 4G compatible. And boom, I got data. All right, so that's literally all you have to do. I mean, we just set the phone and we got our 4G working. All you have to do is just uh, sign up for the um, automatic bill pay thing. Uh, I'll see if I can show you that. I don't know if I can because I ha might have to censor out my account information. Anyway, uh, if you sign up for the automatic bill pay for the um, data plan, then you don't have to worry about anything. You will automatically deduct $45 from your credit card each month. And as long as your service stays active, your phone will still be active. So, um, yeah, you can download a bunch of apps and stuff. You'll have super fast internet depending on your location, of course. Way faster than, oh, here it is. Way faster than you'd get if you just bought an off-the-shelf smartphone. I mean, this thing it's, it's nice, it gets the job done, but it's, you're paying $45 a month. You're technically paying for 4G, since it just pops up here immediately. So why would you want a 3G phone? I got this on thing on eBay for about $220, and it's pretty fast. I might have to get a new battery, but it's, it's really fast, and it has 4G, and it works, and it was a pretty easy setup. So Okay, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any problems or whatever, you probably should contact Net10. They know way more about this than I do. But I have had no problems with my original setup. I'll post in the video or annotation if I have any other problems later on that you guys need to know about. But other than that, it's really easy to set up. All you need is a SIM card and to activate it and, of course, the money. <laughs> so, and a phone. Yeah, the phone is kind of important. But yeah, so I uh, hope to see you all later. Bye.